A story from Dave. You can't push a string. Some of you know that I live by a number of adages, many of which I inherited from my parents. Right now, as we are in the midst of the vaccination phase, and hopefully the last phase of this catastrophic pandemic, one adage keeps coming to me over and over again. You can't push a string. This adage really makes sense only if you literally try to advance a string with your finger pushing on it. So here's a string and I'm trying to push on it and it, it doesn't advance, it just, it just compresses or recoils. The key to people changing, again, you and me included, is when we feel that internal pull or desire to move in a certain direction. That's when we move. It's really easy to move a string by pulling it. As I think about the COVID-19 vaccines, this adage keeps coming to me. Let me tell you a little bit about myself when it comes to pharmaceuticals. I am a minimalist. Back in 1989, when the A's and Giants were in the World Series, the Earthquake World Series, I got strep throat. My mother, a registered nurse who had worked for years in pediatrics, told me that strep could be dangerous, very dangerous. Yet she also said that if I gargled a lot with warm salt water and took it easy for a few days while making sure that it wasn't getting worse, perhaps I could ride it out and my body would heal itself. And I could avoid having to be prescribed an antibiotic. And here's the best part, my immune system would be strengthened by fighting the strep on its own. She said, it's up to you. So with that information, I decided to gargle a dozen times a day, drink lots of hot tea with lemon, closely monitor my throat, and try to write it out. Thankfully, four days later, my throat was feeling much better. Best of all, that was 1989, and I have never had strep again. Jump ahead to 2021. Last Saturday, when Linda Floyd called me to say that the vaccination site at Grant High School in Sacramento, where she and Antonio were volunteering, had 200 extra doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 COVID vaccine available to anyone who could get there in 30 minutes or less, I drove 80 miles an hour and got there in the nick of time to joyously receive my first vaccination shot. That night, Sony and T and I all celebrated having received the first of two vaccination shots, they had gotten theirs earlier. So why did I resist taking an antibiotic for strep in 1989, but joyously taking the COVID-19 vaccine in 2021? That is a great question to ponder as we find ourselves in a worldwide pandemic in which many are reluctant to receive a vaccination. Back to the string and the difference between a push and a pull. I suspect that if my mom had said, you absolutely have to get an antibiotic for strep, I probably would have done so. I trusted her. However, in the years that followed, I came to understand the horrible problem of antibiotics being overprescribed. I probably would <clears throat> have questioned her absoluteness. Yet in not telling me what to do, and not pushing me, but instead offering her knowledge and having the wisdom to let me make the decision myself, I ended up finding my own pull. Finding that pull resulted in two positive outcomes. First, feeling very good about the careful decision I made in 1989, and also feeling very good about the wisdom of my mom in sharing her knowledge and then letting me figure out what I would do on my own. In light of that, let me tell <clears throat> you a little about what I've been doing this entire pandemic year. I've studied all four of the most likely vaccines that potentially could become available. The Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, and J&J. I tried to factor in all the information from multiple sources that was coming out on the virulence of the virus, the effects of the virus when contracted, 
and results of the vaccine trials, both in terms of safety and efficacy. I also factored in the roughly 150 people in my community of family, friends, and church, people I know personally who have successfully received the vaccine with only minimal side effects. I also factored in my very personal grief related to the half dozen people that I have had connection with who have died from COVID-19. Finally, I looked at my role as a minister, which results in me regularly having direct contact with quite a few people and how it would nearly kill me to unintentionally be a non-symptomatic transmitter of the virus. All of this went into my discernment process, which ended with this pharmaceutical minimalist, me, driving 80 miles an hour last Saturday to get vaccinated. In other words, I wasn't pushed. I was pulled. And I feel very, very good about my decision. Point Pleasant has been very committed to facilitating our community in getting vaccinated. Yet we have been very careful to avoid mandates or anything heavy handed. We have respected those who have wanted to wait, perhaps temporarily or permanently, on getting vaccinated. We have shared the actual experience that people have had when they were vaccinated, both the smooth and the rough. We have shared information on the different technologies employed by the different vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna using the cutting edge mRNA technology and Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca using the more traditional adenovirus vectored vaccine, vaccine technology, more like a regular flu shot. Finally, we have sought to help in any way we could to facilitate the vaccination process for those who decided they wanted to be vaccinated without demeaning or shaming those who choose to wait temporarily or permanently. So it is my hope and prayer that each of you will study all that you need to study. Listen to the wisdom of those you trust. Consider the cost and the benefits, both personally and collectively, to find the pull that is right for you. So far, this has worked extremely well at Point Pleasant. We have seen a very high percentage of the congregation get vaccinated as they become eligible. And we have not had the divisiveness that many congregations have experienced and many families have experienced. And if not everyone in your family is on the same page when it comes to vaccinations, one way or the other, what is becoming abundantly clear is that passions can run extremely high on this issue. I would point to the wisdom of my mother who seemed to understand intuitively that you can't push a string. Blessings this Easter.